Hi, I'm Strength and Conditioning Specialist Mike Mejia, and welcome to the video companion to the Splash Magazine Exercise of the Month, where this time around we're going to be featuring a drill called the Kneeling Thoracic Rotation. Once again, a drill that requires a great deal of flexibility as well as strength, and you're going to want to make sure that in the beginning, you just use your own body weight or a very light dumbbell. In fact, this is one that you're not really going to need to use any kind of heavy weight on at all. Because what this exercise is doing is improving range of motion around the thoracic spine, that middle part of the spinal column. And by increasing your strength and range of motion in this area, you can not only ward off shoulder injuries, but you can really decrease the overuse of the lumbar spine or lower back, which is so common with a lot of swimmers. So let's take a look at how to do the kneeling thoracic rotation right now. All right, so we got Nicole all set to help us out here with the kneeling thoracic rotation. Now we've got an AirX pad position beneath her knee because in a second, as you'll see, as she gets into position, we're doing that so that we have a nice uh, straight line in the back. If we don't have that pad there, her hips are gonna be riding awfully low. So she has a light weight in her hands here, but it's not really about using weight, it's about getting the form down. So make sure you start with just your own body weight and then progress with light weights as you're ready. Keeping her back nice and flat like a three-legged table. Nicole, I'd actually have you back that butt up just a little bit so it's directly over your knees. Good job. What she's going to do is reach underneath with her left arm. Let's freeze it there. What we're getting here is a nice stretch in that upper back. Notice that the lower back is still flat though. She's then going to bring it through as if she's doing a reverse fly movement. We'll freeze that there, strengthening the upper back a little with that dumbbell. And then we continue it all the way up and through into that thoracic rotation, making sure not to move the hips. Okay, Nicole, why don't you give me some reps there nice and slow. So it's a big rotation under. That's the stretch. She opens up, really trying to use that upper back and through. Keep it up. Now, as you get a little bit stronger and you start using a dumbbell with these, you'll see that it gets harder and harder and you'll really begin working that upper back, those scapular stabilizers. But the whole time we're trying to keep those hips still and get that rotation coming from that thoracic spine, that middle back area. Great way to help ward off shoulder injuries by strengthening and increasing the range of motion in the muscles in the thoracic spine. And those are kneeling thoracic rotations. And you can do those for anywhere from about 10 to 12 repetitions per side.